talk. I'm just standing here. <laughs> you don't have to talk. I'm waiting for you. I'm just seeing if anything's gonna. Yeah. Kick. I always feel funny at this part. Oh, we're live. Yay! Okay. <laughs> we were probably live before too. <laughs> Um, I appreciate you checking though, Emily. Mm -hmm. Hey friends, happy Wednesday, Friends Day. I'm here with my favorite daughter, Emily. Hi. Um, and we're gonna hang out in the studio. We're gonna paint a holiday sheep. I linked the reference photo in this video description. And then I just drew the, I can't tell where it is, the holly mm -hmm. in Photoshop. Um, but the traceable, I left the holly off. The traceable's up on my website, annietro.com. Because it's just a couple of lines and, and berries. I thought if you wanted to draw it just as a sheep, you'd have the structure without the holly. And then I want to do just a little bit of show and tell. So this isn't licensed. I just had it printed at flagology.com. Hey, Flagology, thank you. You can have uh, photo flags printed. So of course I got the house flag. Oh, and it's upside down. So it's huge. I don't know if you'll be able to see but that's my newest snowman painting. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna, I don't think I'll be able to raise it high enough. <laughs> we got his bottom almost, so we're good. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna hang that on the front of my house. Of course, now that I've just told the whole world what's gonna be on the front of my house, <laughs> that probably wasn't maybe the smartest idea. <laughs> uh, of course we aren't, I don't think the whole world's watching. Yeah. <laughs> and then one more show and tell. Just threw my flag on the floor. I finished this. This was last week's live. Is that in? Yeah. Um, isn't that pretty? Turned out uh, gorgeous. The the full video will post Sunday, December 16th, or uh, Sunday, December 26th, the Sunday after Christmas, if you have it on your calendar. So anyway, I just thought that turned out really fun. Yeah. Okay. I like that one a lot. Yummy colors. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to grab the phone. No rush, Emily. Oh, would you stick that on my easel, hun? Yeah. Um, I'm going to grab the phone and we're going to go over to my art table here. And i got to remember to go up and over. If you take one side step to the... Yep, perfect. Almost, kind of. You somehow got tangled in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get it now? Yeah. Okay. And I lined this up ahead of time. Oh, it's a, that is just interesting. It's a little... The well, lines are always a little more zoomed out. Well, and it's just a little off. We'll scoot it up. I think I scoot it up every time. That, I like it that we can hook it in there. Mm -hmm. So Emily's helping me um, sort of manage the mic cords so they don't hang yeah. down, get in frame. I don't bump them. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Okay, how are we looking? How is everybody? I hope you all are doing well. I can't believe it's almost the end of 2021. I'm going to scoot this a little. Is that a little square? Um, Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll just leave it. Okay, so I already have the traceable on here. This was painted in the live church painting uh, we did a couple weeks ago. So this was the background I painted and then I just switched so my background would be drier and already had the traceable on it just to speed things up a bit. So this is that background we painted. And then I just used a brown chalk pastel to scribble on the back of my traceable that I printed out from my website. I just was trying to go for a color that would stand out enough on video and not be black. So I don't know if that made much difference because black Black is not going to be that much stronger. I don't know if that made any sense. And then this background, in case you don't go watch the live or haven't seen that live, is a combination of phthalo blue green shade and neutral gray five. I just love, probably more gray than blue. And then titanium white to make it lighter. Add more blue to make it darker. Anyway, so we're going to be efficient and use that background that we painted. And then I was trying to decide what colors to use today. Um, you could use unbleached titanium, but I didn't know if everybody would have that. I may pull it out, but I think I'm going to use burnt umber. Um, I'm going to use quinacridone magenta, magenta and mix kind of a soft pink because I had used portrait pink in a recent video 
And I, didn't we mix that live, Emily, a portrait pink? I think pink? so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, so I thought maybe it'd be better if I didn't use portrait pink. So there's burnt umber. And I like Liquitex. Um, there's a lot of great acrylic paints out there. A lot of good brands. But I like it because I can just storm on their caps. Titanium white. I have also a big jar of it because I go through a lot of white in the basics. Um, the basics is a little cheaper. Their website, the last time I checked it, said the, the heavy body is more heavily pigmented too. It's not only thicker but more pigmented. But I, gosh, I have a hard time telling the difference. Let's put out some cad yellow. Uh, cad yellow medium hue. A lot of times I just buy what I can find too. I don't know if we really need black. There's a little black in that sheep's eye. We could also mix a little blue with the um, burnt umber to get a really dark color. Oh, my cornacridone is pretty much empty. Oh, and then I wiped the lids. I just got paint on my head because I didn't see the white. <laughs> um, I just wipe them on a paper towel. Helps keep them a little cleaner. You can also wash the lids out. That lid is not clean. I also keep a spare little small lid and a bigger lid in case I really get one messed up. Okay, let's start there. I'm going to start with the eye because um, it just makes me happy and I feel better about the painting right off the bat. And the nose and the ears also because I think, well, not so much on these ears, like cow ears, you'd have hair coming over them. Um, definitely the eye, you've got those cute eyelashes. We got a little bit of hair going over the nose. So I think we'll start with those. This is, I don't know what it is. It's just a little liner brush from Royal Langnickel. What else? Oh, I don't know if I have my kneaded eraser. There it is. It's hiding behind my water. Here, I don't know if you want to see how the traceable looks. Okay, I think I've set the table. If I've missed something, ask a question and Emily will will answer it or she'll ask me. So uh, I see Tinker in the chat and she said, she says, cute, my parents raised sheep. Uh, their breed are actually born black and once you shear them, they turn white. Um, Interesting. The heads and the legs stay black because they're never sheared there. So like when you see the, like the, I feel like there's like some sheep with the black faces? There's some TV show or something that has like a sheep with a black face, black legs, and a white fluffy body, you know? Yeah. But I, so I said that, that, uh, that that's like me because I was born with black hair and then it all fell out and then grew back <laughs> blind. <laughs> now you're kind of strawberry. Yeah. Okay, that's funny. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Okay, you know what? I'm going to sit down. I think that's what's bugging me. Sorry for the slow start here, guys. I'm like really bending over to okay so I'm just gonna put some white this eye is kind of, is really in shadow and I I'm gonna lighten it up and see if we like it we can always make it darker so I'm gonna paint it white ah, I'm gonna have too little of a brush so what I really want to do is pick it up But then you guys can't see what I'm doing. You can pick it up. No, I mean like take oh, it you, off. Oh, okay. Off camera. Yeah, I could pick it up. I don't know if that really helps. Okay, let's just let that dry. Wasn't that exciting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to get that flag. Yeah, um, it's they, so cute. I think they still have two of my flags that they've licensed. Um, on their website. I should have checked that for good advertising or promotion, you know. I think it's the Happy Bird Day and Spit Happens. Which website is that? Flagology.com. Let's see. I need to mix a pink. Let's make a mix a portrait pink. I'm not going to, that's probably going to be way too much. I tend to do that. I always say, you know, start with your lighter color and then I forget and don't do it. Let's go 
grab some white. Do I have to look through every flag or can I? You, you might be able to search my name. I don't know if it's Annie or Anne. It's Anne. Sometimes they do that. Mm -hmm. But I'll throw it in the Because the copyright is you know, my official name. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times they'll just do that. So a little yellow, a little pink. Am I on camera? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's nice about being over here, the, the little flyover isn't so nice for you guys, but I can just either look at my iPad, which has a delay, but I can actually look at the top of my phone to see if we're okay. I added just a pinch of burnt umber. Oh, that's kind of a pretty soft baby pink. I think I want it darker. There's Freckles. I don't know if you can hear her. She was zooming around here earlier. <laughs> She's probably going to want a hug from Emily, even though we gave her the best chair to sit on. I know I don't. I'm trying to <laughs> I don't need a hug right now, Freckles. She's meowing at me. Were those um, flags still out there? Yeah. Oh, yep. cool. I linked them in the chat. I can't, I have a, like, a what's where file and how long it's licensed for and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> I just heard what you said. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the advertising. I like the happy bird day. Yeah. Well, I actually, so like, the cute. spit happens. I just don't know if everybody would like that one, you know? Mm-hmm. It's funny. <laughs> Oops, I think I grabbed too much yellow, maybe. Is she up on your lap? Emily is right here in the studio with me, but she's to my backside, so I can't see her. Oh yeah, Freckles is bothering her. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the hug. Maybe oh, if I clear a path, she'll go to the window. Suzanne messaged me that she can't make it today, but she wanted to say hi to everybody. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. I thought that was really fun. Eric and Bonita are in the chat as well. Oh, hey um, guys, but for Bonita coming. says, hello everyone, internet issues. Good thing no one could hear what I was saying to the screen. <laughs> Bonita. <laughs> YouTube will flag you. Hi. Probably taking too much time. So this is why a lot of times I time lapse my videos. I like to putz with the color. Maybe a little darker. You can always make it lighter. It's just me. So it's kind of a creamy pink. How dark is it? Oh, I keep changing my mind. All right, we're gonna call that good. So I added quite a bit of yellow. I wonder if I should make a straight up quick pink so you can see the difference. Maybe I should. I'm also, so what makes me nervous about doing these videos now isn't so much, you know, painting or demonstrating or any of that stuff. It's how much time is it going to take? I didn't win. Oh, I'm going to turn around and look. <laughs> oh, Emily's holding her microphone so Freckles can give her a shoulder hug <laughs> over the shoulder. I oh. didn't win the battle. I tried to, I tried to direct her somewhere else. And you come plenty early. She could give you a hug when you get here. I know. She doesn't. She wants attention when we're giving everybody else attention. Yeah. Then you can see the, a big difference in the pinks. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. That's mm -hmm. really nice about the white palette. That gray palette is really nice because then you're not blinded by the white. You can see the lighter values better. You're not um, blinded by the white. Oh, singing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they're probably easier to use, but these are so cheap, and I can stick them in a gallon baggie. Okay, that brush is way too small. What do we want to use? Should we just use a little filbert because those ears aren't that big? And get some color down. I have my reference photo in two places and I still don't know where to look. I think that's a pretty color. It's probably going to look more pink on the lamb than it does on my palette. It does. So I could paint all the way in there, but then I kind of forget what I want to do. So 
So it's next? No, next week isn't the week before Christmas. Is it? No. No. No, that's your... It, next week is your birthday week. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I... That looks like I was totally fishing too. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, that's how I was doing the math. I was like, we haven't had your birthday yet. When's your birthday? Oh, next week. Okay, so it's not Christmas week. But... Um, that's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's not the age. It's just like, you know, the yeah. attention. I mean, I think I have a post going up saying that it's your birthday. Oh, do so, you? Yeah. Oh, I better get used to it then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Freckle says, yeah. I thought I'd just stick a little different shade in here where I was at in this ear. That sounds kind of funny, in this ear, but I am in the <laughs> ear. And I haven't decided on the reference photo, the light's coming from this direction. I might stick with it since I'm talking and painting. I usually, as you guys know, oh, I covered up my sun. Oh, and it's gotten worn off. I usually have my light coming from this way, but I think we'll just follow the photo. Make it easier. I don't normally, well, I shouldn't say normally. Lately, I've been putting white on way ahead of what I normally do. I usually save the whites for last. But this is going to dry darker for one thing. And it'll remind me of where I was thinking my, I was going to follow the highlights on the photo. So it'll remind me that's what I decided. I just heard something buzz. Oh, uh, it was my phone. Oh, okay. Well, it's so nice of Eric and Bonita to hang out with us. Mm -hmm. And Tinker's sheep facts. Oh, yeah, Tinker. I forgot. I forgot. My bad. I commented on one of Tinker's Facebook posts this morning. <laughs> I'm getting fussy. Well, as long as we're here. So you could paint this ear in layers, but maybe we'll just... Put a little of that burnt umber in there. Um, it chases in the chat. I kind of wonder if that's what buzzed. Was no, that no. Oh, was it? It, that was a notification on my phone for oh. Instagram. Hey, Chase. But, um, Chase is in the chat, and he left his usual four ninety nine with the little goat. Oh, thank you, thank you, Chase. And we have Tammy H. as well. Oh, hey, Tammy. You know what? I'm going to close the description on my iPad so I can see people. I can oh, see yeah. their little... Yeah, you can see the little uh, blue-green card that it leaves with the little super chat. Yeah. Oh, well, I wanted to see Tammy. Oh. And, and, um, forget Chase. Eric and, yeah, forget <laughs> Chase. Tinker, Bonita, I wanted to see them. I'm going to see Chase tonight. Yeah. I think we'll finish Ugly Betty tonight. Oh, wow. That was a long one. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that's not a bad thing. It was fun. Yeah, it seems like they were wrapping it up last time. Mm-hmm. Okay, just getting a little quick color down. Maybe not so quick, but... Also trying to cover the blue. So you could paint around the sheet if you're painting it from scratch and then not have the blue behind it. That could be uh, quite a bit easier for you. Freckle is needy today. She has actually been more needy lately. She keeps meowing at me. Makes me a little worried. Like, I hope she feels okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is my eye dry? My eye's kind of dry. <laughs> oh, I didn't say what this is. Oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's one of those Zoo Zing... Brushes I got on Amazon. I like the brushes, but they peel really fast. Let's see. It's like a quarter inch. Okay, so for the eye, you could just use like a raw sienna. If you want to do it more quickly. Um, I'm going to 
try and mix. And I really don't know what color that eye is. It looks like it might have a little gold or something in there. I don't know if you can see it on video. Plus my, um, I should, would normally put it on my iPad. So, um, I can see the colors better. So just a pinch of quinacridone. That might be too much brown. Of course, we don't have to get a, a raw sienna color. I'm being kind of stingy with my paint here. <laughs> yeah, that is a very tiny puddle. <laughs> Way too much quinacridone. We don't want a red eye. Probably shouldn't mix with my brush either. It's kind of hard on him. So, um, people in the chat, if you, no pressure to answer, but anybody who watches this later too, do you like seeing me mix these colors like this? I would have just pulled out the raw sienna and used it. But I think that might be okay. We can always glaze over it too if it's not the greatest. Mm -hmm. And it's going to, oh, I've got white now. I was going to say it's going to go over the blue, but it's not. It's going to go over the white. I don't think personally. Oh, Tammy says yes. <laughs> okay. Tammy says yes. I was going to say, like, I think it's nice to, um, if you don't have the color, see how you can make it or yeah. something similar or, but I don't know if it's like something you always have to do if you feel pressured to always mix it. Oh, uh -huh. Eric says yep too. So like, maybe I'm wrong. You always have to mix now, every color. Well, no. I just kind of <laughs> thought, just from some of the past comments. So what's happening is, this has more yellow in it than my raw sienna does, so it's more transparent, but that's mm -hmm. okay. It's all right. I just covered up the pupil. And I'm gonna pull a little bit of color up. There's really not much to see there. I'm just getting some color down. It looks really creepy, <laughs> especially upside down. <laughs> it looks really creepy. Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm just cleaning up my brush a little bit. Okay, let's work left to right. I just picked up my chalk pastel and my kneaded eraser. <laughs> just, I don't know, just thought that was funny. Smooth art moves. <laughs> Tinker says, yes, yes, color mixing is important and relaxing. I wish, I, I don't think your mic picks up the like, Especially when you start using a palette knife, the oh the scraping the, on the this. scraping sound, but that that's yeah, it's a very um, relaxing sound. Goes to that ASMR. A ASMR, yeah. Um, I was watching. What was it? Okay, I don't know if um, changed my mind if it's here. a bunch of different people or if it's just like one person that we've watched. But like we watched Chase and I watched one video over like Thanksgiving with his mom or something, and then. We were watching one video, um, I think at home, but it was like the second one that I remember better was, oh no, the first one was donuts and it's, there's no talking. It's just, you just hear all the little, like they have a really nice mic. So you hear all the little crackles and like pops of everything they're doing and. Oh, interesting. But yeah, I, it was, and then I think the second one was like a food truck. So they were making like sandwiches and stuff like that, but. Oh yeah, Tammy says she can't hear the mixing at all. Eventually, we'll be able to hear the mixing. <laughs> but well, I don't know, because then you'll hear my stomach all the oh, time. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. But with better mm. with better mic comes, it'll catch more sounds. Yeah, when our stomachs start growling. I'm good. I shouldn't have said anything because I've been really good so far. Sometimes I like to put the. I mean, there isn't acrylic is so forgiving, which is lovely. Um. You know, like there I put white in right away and now I'm putting dark in first. You can really do it either way. 
Um, sometimes it's kind of nice to save your white for last and just kind of turn on the lights so you don't use it everywhere. Um, sometimes it's kind of it's nice to get all your darks in and your um, like I did with that flower painting I showed at the beginning and get your structure down. I talked about that in that video, but you gotta wait till the Sunday after Christmas to see it. Um, that could change too. That's just tentative. I have it on my calendar, but we're not sure when we're taking a little bit of time off. We what? well, really, it's just is it just the lives? Yeah, well, yeah, or, I was gonna, and then maybe like a video less. Well, and maybe something. some of our salesy posts. Yeah, but there'll be a, a video or two that posts. Just so YouTube back. will really probably be the only pop in place. Really. <laughs> I'll mix them with my brush again when I said it's really hard on them. So I'm going to put in, I don't really need all this detail, but it's what I like about it. It's what I like about pet portraits. It's the detail. Here, should I pick that up a little bit? It's probably a little teeny teeny. It's not that interesting yet, but that's what I'm doing. That sounded like I don't. Um, paintings go through, I was gonna say lots of ugly stages or layers, but really they, to, for me, they start coming together towards the end. I'm also just kind of mapping out. Mapping out where some things are so I don't lose it. So does everybody have their holiday shopping done? I think I'm done. I haven't checked yet. Um, I'm done. Are you done? Yeah. I wait. Well, yeah, I guess. I still have the one that I've been making for Chase. But yeah, I, I am done. At least the buying side. Well, you've started wrapping. Oh, yeah, I'm all wrapped. <laughs> I haven't really gone. I need to go through and... And um, I realized, I forgot that after last year's debacle of me only having washi tape to wrap and the, 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 well, no, that the was wrapping paper being too thick, so everything was popping open before anybody had opened it, Aww. I bought <clears throat> the, just like the clear scotch tape, but um, I forgot that I had done that, so again, I wrapped the presents with washi tape again and they started popping open, so then I put the, <laughs> the clear tape over the top of everything. Oh. I have some if you want to steal some. Oh, I, I have like just... a, I literally bought it for that reason because I was like, oh no, I didn't, I was wrapping everything with washi tape. It looked pretty though. Oh, I bet it looks really pretty. I don't know why I have that line there on the traceable. Maybe just through, oh, I know because I could probably see better that the pink comes down. I'm talking about this line right here. Actually, this line too. It's kind of over-exaggerating what needs to happen at least on my printout, but I bet you it's because I was tracing on a light table back lit. I probably saw pink or something. So I don't know why I'm doing this right now. Which I guess, part? Like oh, the... just kind of messing around a little bit with the mouth. I suppose because I have the color on my palette and in my brush. Eric says he's just about done. I think I'm done. Well, I We're think, usually done pretty early. Well, we used know? to do Black... Well, we did Black Friday a little bit, but we'd go late mm -hmm. after, after everybody had been through yeah, the store. Yeah, we're not the 5 a.m. people. We're the show up at 5 p.m. and take the leftovers people. We didn't do that... To, how long did we do it, do you think? We did it at least for probably three years, I would think. At oh, least. Three years, yeah. I remember the first year. I don't know why we did it the first year. I don't remember why we started it. It's actually kind of fun to power shop. Yeah. You just get it all done. Get a high, too. Yeah. <laughs> Bonita says, yes, my first year I'm done shopping early. I wonder if the pandemic, like, it was scaring me in the news. Like, order early. Yeah. I was bugging you guys. What do you want? 
Well, and um, did you see that all those servers were down for um, Amazon yesterday? No. So a lot of warehouses were like completely stalled, didn't, they couldn't do anything. I think Chase was even telling me something because I don't know if that affects like if the, it, w- it has some like Amazon something server, Amazon warehouse, I don't know. Um, but um, it was, I think like they couldn't get online to like, you know, start filing orders, you know, what do we need? Who like yeah, what's shipment, where? whatever. Yeah. And um, I was seeing online that they were just like entire warehouses empty of like people usually it's like a bunch of people buzzing around you know picking and Ooh. putting them in places yeah so i'm like i wonder if that set back stuff for christmas too it probably really won't hurt it. well i don't know there's payroll would hurt amazon and i don't know if we are concerned about amazon but i mean people are still ordering so much there now yeah what i'm thinking is the timeline it's timeline for people who want to get stuff yeah and already it's already Well, I'm just kind of dabbing in some color here because I'm not totally sure where I'm going with it. Yeah, I really need to check to see if I'm done. I've got a pile in my shipping and receiving (laughs) in Jack's old bedroom. (laughs) And also exercise room. Yeah, very multi-purpose um, room. General storage exercise. General, yes, it's Jack storage. Also, just general storage. Yeah, I've got some paintings in there too. Mm-hmm. Shipping. You know what? This brush might be a little big for me to handle. A square brush would be easier. I kind of liked it because of the fur. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the fur yet. Oh, that one's so worn down. One of my stubbies. I don't know if I have a little or... This is the one I was talking about. It's the number four. I've got a a much more worn down to about half that on my other easel. (laughs) I use them a lot. That is a little easier to get in there with at least a... You know the corner's kind of fat on this brush. Okay, let's let that just dry. I don't know if you see, yeah, you kind of see the value shift a little bit. Mm-hmm, yep. So we could go a little pink here, or we could do the brown and the pink over. I don't think it really matters. If you don't like it, you're gonna paint over it anyway. Well, I'm gonna paint, probably paint over it anyway. Let's put it in and see what we think of it. We're going to need a couple layers maybe to cover that really strong line. Oh, you know what I could do? I'll just make a, I don't know, kind of a yellowy brownie something. This might help us. Mm. I finally turned my heat on. Oh, because, you, well, you, <laughs> I, I was hesitating. I didn't know if you want people to know you live in an apartment just because oh, yeah. not to give clues to where we live kind of situation. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you're, I mean, that's what's so nice about an apartment. I've Yeah, I think I have figured after living there for however many years, I've figured out that we have to be below freezing for us to, like, lose any heat, really. Well, you're pretty surrounded except for one side, aren't you? Yeah, we have just the, we're, you know, like, floors up or whatever so we have people below us people above us people next to us um it's just the one side is exposed where like our windows are and um so but I didn't think about it because it was probably fine and the temperature dropped overnight so I didn't think about going to bed and then we we woke up and it was like 65 in the apartment (laughs) and um a little chilly just a little chilly and I was wondering like why Maya was kind of like snuggled up Usually she sleeps by my face, but she was, like, snuggled up by the blankets. And um, and then I, Chase, um, got up before me. And um, when I, by the time I got up, I was like, oh, it's a little chilly. But I didn't think anything of it. So I just 
I don't know, I didn't think anything of it. And then he comes out and he's wearing, like, sweatpants and socks and, you know, was probably wrapped in a blanket. And he's like, I think it's cold in here. (laughs) So I was like, oh, my God. And then uh, we turned the heat on finally. Yeah. But I was kind of wondering, like, it might get a little warm in there today. 65 is, yes. I think 60, well, what is your house at usually? I think at night it's 65. Um, it's during the day it's 66, but you know towards the afternoon I have it coming up to 68 for when Dad comes home. Yeah, I think 65. I agree because like 65 in a house feels so much different than 65 in an apartment. Where because Eric says 65 is wonderful. <laughs> I, yeah, well, in my studio it gets hot. So. Yeah, I think when there's like more rooms where like it has to be shoved, it probably like 65 is a lot warmer than. In my apartment where it's just like forcing or like where it's, that's where it is. Like everything, it's 65 everywhere. Well, and 65 and humid is warmer than 65 and dry. True. Yes. And we Mm -hmm. have 65 and dry right now. Yeah. But if you're down south, I don't know if it's still humid. Might be. I'm just trying to cover up my lines here, make it go a little faster. Nothing pretty. I feel like I'm beating up the canvas. You can still see it. (laughs) Yeah, he does look a little bit, you know, blotchy. But then we're going to need more white. We need white right here. I don't like that brush. I mean, I like it, but it's too... I am not prepared. I don't know if this one will... This one might do. See, it's fuzzy, too. I don't know if you can see... I have abused brushes on hand today, but it might shape to a point. Nope. No, well, maybe that's better. Oh no, that's bad. So now I leave like that sort of cleaned out, but not very well. And then I just leave them out as my system. So I remember to wash them after the live. <laughs> And I still sometimes forget. I don't have a good... I need to get a good flat brush for birthday or Christmas, Adam. All right, we'll just use this little guy. I don't think you asked for one. I don't think I did. It's probably too late because Amazon had a shutdown. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's Michaels and Plick and wherever else. That's true. They do have. So. But, I mean, I am done Christmas shopping. I'll have to buy myself one. Don't buy any other brushes while you're... Just that. Okay. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what I'm getting. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Eric says, as long as it's cooler than 115 million degrees like Las Vegas, I'm good. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine. And Tinker says, 68 at night and 70, 72 during the day, but I live in Wisconsin. So it's 19 degrees outside right now. Oh, it is cooler. We're, um, we're going to get up to... Maybe 50 today, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, I think it was like 48. Is that what I asked when I, what Alexa said when I asked her before I left? Maybe a um, little, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, she just says, have to compensate for the ki- the kids constantly opening the door and playing in the snow. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't have any snow. We're maybe going to get a little snow tonight, tomorrow night? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But then Actually, it's going to pop back up again. It's been unseasonably warm. Yeah, it's been like eerily warm. Yeah. Like, so weird it doesn't even feel like december it was it was 70 degrees like a week ago i know i know and i'm like i i like it when it snows on my birthday mm-hmm. as long as it snows then we can still go someplace you know mm-hmm. or people can come i'm just kind of putting these in as my reminders a little bit because i'm talking all right let's work on the other ear for a little while i don't know how I'm, oh how am i doing on time i wonder uh oh 12 39 so, do we have a We have, have a, a break? little show and tell. It's a quick one. I just have to... Ice yeah. cream break, I oh, believe. Yeah, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got a... I decided to do a video and talk a little bit about drawing and... Because when we paint, I'm painting shapes, even though they're funny shapes. You know? I'm thinking... Shapes. I've said that a couple times. <laughs> so, I've got a video coming up on... 
December 12th. I think that's, oh, I don't know what day of the week that is. And so I, ta I show you how to draw. Is that too close? That's Sunday because it's the day before your birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's this Sunday. Um, I talk about, you see me dry, uh, dry, draw these in real time. And then I just watercolor them for fun. So this is part one. I've got part two covered up so you can't see it. So it's a little bit of a teaser. But if you, you know, you want to know how I think about things or how you could use shapes um, to draw, practice drawing, get better. Because if you want to get better at painting, faster drawing will help you. So I decided to do that. And we'll see what people think and if they like it. It was really fun for me to break out the watercolors. I haven't done that in a while. And I think that's my only... Oh, and then this Friday, uh, December 10th, Trouble 3.0 post. It's a cow painting. I did it on a wood <laughs> panel. It's already, you can see it. It's already in, in the intro of my gallery visit that just posted recently. Um, but that, the full video of that post this Friday. As you sell them, are you just going to keep painting cows for that wall? I and think then, so. And then it'll just, you know, Trouble 50.0? I think so. <laughs> I mean, you know, things change, but I, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's in a good safe spot, but it's also on the bottom corner, mm -hmm. kind of by a planter. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's... The other one sold before it even got hung, which is mm -hmm. really nice. That's always nice. That's a good problem to have. Yeah. I'm, I'm down to the... Maybe it's in the middle, the really huge cow photo. Mm -hmm. And then the <clears throat> on-the-nose one behind my studio door that I've got, like, I painted it in square shapes. <clears throat> Otherwise, all my cows are gone, which is also good. I need to paint more cows. Bonita said it snowed in Kentucky last night, <gasps> and it was beautiful coming down. <clears throat> We're both like, <laughs> when you get groggy, I get groggy. Um, beautiful coming down, but didn't last long. Love the snow. I like the snow until... It gets dirty and icky. Yeah, dirty, icky, or I like the snow probably... Until like maybe mid January, late January. Oh, but by my too. birthday, I'm like, we can be done with the snow. Yeah, it gets cold and old. Yeah. Um, but oh, uh, last night it was cold. And so now um, Chase and I were getting in the, or Chase and I always ask like Alexa where we're, what's the temperature like before we leave? You shouldn't say that on YouTube. So, um, <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Other people. I'm probably making everyone's go off. <laughs> If they're, if they're listening out loud. Miss Emily, I'm going to... Okay, people, I'm going to yell at my daughter. Emily! <laughs> uh, Girl! Um, but um, I'm now the fact that you pointed that out makes me want to, like, say something and then out loud and then hopefully everyone's goes off. I know, I know. You get kind of ornery. Um, but... Uh, Sorry, honey. Do you oh, know? no. Uh, so we both, like, realized that it was, like, 20 degrees, 28 degrees. So we were, like, you know, put a jacket on, put a coat on or whatever. Um, and we step outside and Chase makes a comment that like, oh, it's not that cold because it's not windy. Right. And I was like, that's, you, that's what you say every time. It's, it's like, not the oh, cold. it's not the cold, it's the wind. And I hear that that's like the most Midwest thing to say is like, it's not the cold, it's the wind. If this, if it wasn't so windy, it wouldn't be as cold. Well, you think it's an old pe person thing to say too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I've seen memes that's like the most Midwest thing you can say is like, um, like, oh, sorry, like, and then, and then you say something like, um, if it, it wouldn't be as cold if it wasn't so windy. Yeah, it is a Midwest thing to say. Um, Tammy says, I, I assume this is in reference to the, your, um, you talking about snowmen in the drawing. She says, can't wait. I need all the help I can get with drawing. Well, a lot of it's practice. It's like playing the scales on the piano. Um, I get rusty. So it was good for me to draw the snowman. And you can watch me think. <laughs> um, so that it's not like, even though I paint a lot, which I, painting helps your drawing and drawing helps your painting. They, they, they go hand in hand, mm -hmm. which I'm sure our other artists have said. I'm sure I'm not. Um, I was a little rusty, a little like using the brain cells. T or, uh, Bonita agrees. She says, me too, Tammy. Even my stick people are pathetic. With, like, the, the rolly eye emoji. And then um, Tinker says, I won black velvet watercolor brushes from <gasps> Silver Brush and Ooh. haven't touched them. Ooh. No idea how to wa watercolor. Maybe you can do a tutorial. Oh, I've got um, a tips and tricks video on YouTube um, for beginning water watercolor painters. 
um, I think it's been a while since I've watched. It's been a couple of years since <clears throat> I've done it. But I think that's I, literally the first video I ever edited maybe. for you. And then I've got, you know, I paint, gosh, I'm trying to remember. I paint some bookmarks, which is fun, which would show you some tips. A lot of it is mm. just use the brush. I, I talk about it in the snowman video too. Um, use the brush you're comfortable with. You know, it's just like acrylic painting. And then in the snowman, I, there's a few watercolor tips in there because like I lift up a little or I... I don't know why I stopped talking because Emily's typing. I thought maybe I was bothering her. Oh, no, no, um, I, you... But I thought that was funny I did that. <laughs> Sorry. You're him. being polite. You just stopped talking. Yeah. Um, I'll just tune you out if I... If you need to. Okay. If I need to. But um, you have a playlist. So, so I have a watercolor gonna... playlist. Oh, yeah. I think I linked it already. <clears throat> oh, you did? Okay. I was, no. thinking, I was gonna throw it in the chat. No, not in this video. I'm oh, getting okay. confused. Okay. okay. Sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it in the chat, just the link to the full playlist. Playlist. Yeah, there's like four or five videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's um let's see. And you could totally use them for acrylic. You don't have to use them for watercolor. And then there's a twenty two page booklet that you can download with photo steps and some videos that you could use for watercolor or acrylic. Okay, go ahead, I'm done. Oh, you're fine. So it's watercolor tips and tricks for beginners. Um, bookmarks is the second class. Then um, the butterflies, which is I think you did like the oh, different yeah. tech, like you can do the salt and the whatever. I think you did all those on the butterflies. Nah, it's more my tips and tricks. But... Oh, is that? Okay. Yeah. And then um, you did a tulip and then a bird is the last one. And that third one is the first video I think I ever edited for you. <laughs> oh, is the bird the black, the black and white chickadee? Yeah, the little black and white chickadee. Yeah, that'd be cute in any medium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to teach in-person beginning watercolor classes, and they were almost, they're kind of a combo. I would try to do a little lesson, and I had traceables, or I have traceables. Um, and the ladies mostly wanted to paint and chat. So then I started doing the photo steps for them. Then I just put it all together in a booklet. It's not super professional looking or anything, but it definitely gets the job done. And then the pandemic happened and we moved to YouTube and I was already doing a lot more acrylic painting. So I didn't even, I didn't do much of the watercolor. Um, and also because the acrylic paintings sell for more in the gallery, I don't have to frame them. Watercolor needs framing and matting and more money. Um, and I license a lot better with the acrylic, which is so interesting. Because I started out with the watercolor licensing. I don't know if it's because there's... When I was doing that, when I started out, there were a bunch of artists licensing and with watercolor um, art. And then the acrylic just stood out better. I'm not sure why that was working that way. But we just kind of go with what works. I've got some cute collections in watercolor. One of these days I've got a cute bird, flower, bicycles that's going to license on fabric <laughs> and other things. It's a really big collection. I'm always surprised that that one hasn't licensed yet. It's time. So I'm just kind of putting some color that really is kind of exaggerated with a yellow because um, I can always come back and soften it down. I need to start focusing and painting. <laughs> Carol J just came into the chat and she says, hi everyone, Joy is looking good. Yes. Oh, I corrected the thumbnail, Emily. Oh, what did I do? Um, she, well, I wanted the pun. So I, I changed it to sheer, S-H-E-A-R. Oh, Joy. but I did the other sheer. Yeah. I did sheer, like it's sheer. <laughs> Something yeah. you sheer, yeah. Well, Google, well, autocorrect or the spelling isn't going to catch me. No. For the wrong shear. No. <laughs> I'm surprised I saw it. I probably didn't have to tell you that live that I found a typo. Mm -hmm. But I guess I did, didn't I? I'm not liking this ear, but I'm also talking too much. You know, it might help as if I um. Get a little bit around it. So 
So I think one of the things that helps me is it might be kind of fast and loose and down and dirty in the beginning, but then I come back and refine everything, which makes it take a lot longer. Or, and sometimes I'll even slow down because I'm here by myself listening to a radio or something or a podcast. Plus, I'm using a little brush. Bigger brush would go quicker. Okay, I kind of want to get, so I don't want this here. Let's change our minds here. We want, this is going to be white. I, think, I got a blob of paint there, but I think it'll be okay. So that's going to be our white. And it's probably going to need another coat. So let's get that on there so I can kind of see values. I think the lives have been doing pretty good. I haven't checked the stats lately. Hmm, I haven't either. I've just noticed that you're flying in the subscribers. <laughs> we got 10 the day, or 13 the day before, and yeah. 10 maybe yesterday. I can't remember my days get a little blurred. Yeah, I feel like every, it's it just jumps every time I like really, every time I hop on and refresh it. There's quite a few. I feel like we'll be at 2,000 before the end of the month, maybe the first of the year. We need another 100. We're I know, 1, but you're averaging nine. like, uh, we were at 1,800 before, and like the beginning of December, and you average over 200 a month right now. True. So like, I thought maybe, maybe. So five months. <laughs> No, no, did I do the math no, wrong? No, you did the math the I did the very math wrong. wrong. All right, don't be The end of the month, because if we just need 200 more to get to 2,000, then we can oh, do yeah, it in the month. Oh, yeah, one month. <laughs> do not do math and paint. <laughs> oh, and I wonder if Gramps, that just makes me wonder if Gramps is watching. He asked me about Oh, yeah. How to make an account. YouTube. Oh, he might yeah. be watching, but he might not be able to comment. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was funny. Oh, well. I'm just kind of looking for values, and then I get a little scared. It's a little dark, and it, which is silly because I'm. I can adjust it in a bit, or maybe more than a bit. But this is kind of darker up here. Might be too dark. So this is sort of like paint by number, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not telling you number four in this little circle, but it's kind of like. Like what? I don't know. I went to Zen Tangles. I don't know if people are going to know what that is. Like where they did all the detailed. Oh yeah, detailed... those were so big for a while. Yeah. Or a, a, a thousand piece puzzle, I suppose, you know. Mm -hmm. So one thing I'm going to think is warmer on the right side, cooler on the left. So you notice like this is browner and this is grayer. And if you forget, you can just change it. Like you make a mistake. Okay, I keep getting the wrong color there. I want a little darker. So a little wet, I'm let blending just while I'm in the area. Is that making that ear look a little better? I should almost mix up a... Oh, cat hair. Let's mix up a little unbleached titanium since I'm not going to squirt it out. Are you going to talk through your mixing, or do you think I should share my the excitement that I had on Monday night? Oh, I'm thinking it's share time. <laughs> um, so uh, I was just at home at the apartment, and I... Like I was, I think I was on, I was on the phone with you, and I hung up with you. Um, I get a call from Chase, and I just assume he's on his way home from wherever, and and then. Um, he calls me and lets me know that he was throwing something out um, into one of the dumpsters at our apartment outside and, and that he heard a clink go down with the trash that was not loud or anything metally sounding. And uh, he threw his keys into the dumpster with the trash that he threw out. Well, that's horrible. And um, we heard a clink. Yeah, you're, at least we'll, yeah, we'll think it was empty. Like the dumpster had maybe like a bat, one bag of trash and like a couple of stray things. Like it was very empty. And I was, I was so scared that it was full initially when he called me. Yeah. 
because I'm like, oh, great, that's just going to sink to the bottom really fast. Um, but, the, I mean, they're, they're massive dumpsters. Like, I've seen dumpsters that are smaller than these dumpsters, but they're big, like, you know, big apartment dumpsters. And so Chase is like, can you, like, do we have anything that's, like, long enough? Can we, how do we get it out or whatever? And so I, first I just let him back into the building and into the apartment and I, and I'm like, okay, so it obviously, I think that the dumpster basically hits me at my face. <laughs> like I'm if sorry. I stand right next to the dumpster, it's eye level basically with me, the edge. And it basically, it hits Chase probably at his chest. It's big. Um, so I'm not, I don't have confidence that if he gets in there, I will be able to get him out. Oh, no way. So he's like, three, he, well, I don't know. He's two. He's you. two. Yeah. He's, he's tall. Two me. He's a tall man with big muscles. Yeah. He's got that farm boy blood. <laughs> but um, he, so I'm like, okay, I am going to go in the dumpster. And worst case scenario, you're just going to have to drag me out of the dumpster. So I start putting on like clothes I don't care about to go into the dumpster, like a sweatshirt and I haven't worn in dumpster diving. years. Honestly, I think it was. Sadly, so it was a sweatshirt I was donating that I had in a pile, but it was that it was a Grey's Anatomy sweatshirt that Jack made me for like my birthday or something. Oh, Jack's mad right now. Yeah, it was like, well, yeah, it's how many years old, but um, it was a little one. Yeah, so he, uh, I think it was like it literally says on Thursdays we watch Grey's or something like that, Grey's Anatomy. Oh, cute. Um, but and then like leggings I haven't worn for years, shoes I don't care about, and um. <laughs> And because I have like a hand pan for when there's like crumbs and stuff, um, but I, our vacuum t can take it all. So I just like, you know, I'll put the crumbs in a pile with the little hand pan and then I'll suck them up. Oh, a hand dust pan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hand dust pan. Mm -hmm. So we don't even have like a long broom. Like if I, we have very little, everything's mostly carpet in the apartment. So like I just wash the like little strip of the floor with like a bucket, water and a rag if I wash it. So I don't even have like a Swiffer. Oh yeah, yeah. And so we have literally nothing long to like use to get, to try and just drag the keys out. So we're preparing to throw me into the trash can. <laughs> Which Chase is doing happily and I would too. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, I, no, I'm trying to tease yeah, you. Yeah. And I'm like, I, we're not getting you in there and then I can't get you out and you're stuck. Right. So right. He just felt bad. I'm like, I'll just jump and then you can drag me out. Um, and as we're walking out to, like, out of our apartment building, um, in, like, by the front door, there just happens to be, like, a broom in the corner. And, well, now that I think about it, that broom's been there forever. So, like, I have no idea. Probably sweeping the sand or sweeping the snow. Yeah, I don't know if it's, like, the apartment complex's broom, and they just left it from, yeah, when, they're, when they do the, they leave, like, buckets of sand out into, or buckets of salt and sand during the winter, so, like, you know, since they don't go out at all hours, we can sand if we want to or right. salt. Right. Um, so I didn't know if it was maybe left from that. But anyway, so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm not getting in the dumpster. So we grab the, we grab the um, broom and we're literally like, and what I realized is we're both in all black. Like we literally look like we're, it's a dumpster, <laughs> so it's fine. But it looks like we are. You're going to rob the dumpster. We're going to rob the dumpster, yeah. And we're just like, I have my, uh, I'm holding Chase's phone flashlight and he's. I can't to, paint and laugh. <laughs> and he's trying to scrape it up his keys. And I had made him this like knot keychain thing, which in this fabric. So thank God I did because it was something we could grip it by because otherwise he just has his car keys and the apartment keys and that's it. Yeah, if it's a wimpy broom, it's not going to pull up the heavy keys. Yeah, and so um, we we just scraped it up the nasty side of the dumpster and I grabbed it since he's the one scraping and I, I just grab it and I'm just like, oh, they, they were like oddly sandy and just disgusting and nasty and... But, but, they, but they didn't fall on anything but gross dumpster inside. I mean, it didn't fall yeah. like on a fresh garbage something. No, yeah. And I, I would rather have them be at the bottom of the dump, empty dumpster that's kind of dungy and, like, gross and nasty than me sifting through bags of trash. When oh. I, like, you know, I know that our neighbors oh. have little babies. Like in a movie. Yeah. And, you know, who knows what's in going in the dumpster. And I know that people that don't live at our, dump, our apartment dump there. And, ugh, but... So, I almost got to, you know, climb into a dumpster and 
I, we were, I was laughing the entire time. I mean, I felt bad because he, he lost his keys or whatever, and he was annoyed oh, that he threw his keys yeah, away, but yeah. I was cackling the entire I time. I would have been too. Because I'm just picturing, I was like, will you film this on my phone so that I can send it to you, like you or somebody, but I thought it was, I was laughing. We should post laughing. it to YouTube but under strange things yeah. that happened to yeah. us. We should start a new little playlist. Yeah, but I didn't have to climb in, so he didn't film it. He's like, why would you want me? I'm like, I think this is absolutely hilarious that we're going to have to yeah. chuck me in the dumpster. It's upsetting for him, of course. Yeah, because he threw his keys away. and Yeah. Oh, that and it's, horrible and it's, feeling. And it's the apartment keys. It's his car keys. It's oh. And they're in the dumpster and nasty. That's your life. That's yeah. like your credit card, your driver's license. But I thought it was hilarious when he called me and I was like oh my god we have nothing to get them out it's gonna be me <laughs> yeah I laugh sometimes when I really shouldn't but I, I think mean, life is I mean I, that just makes life less stressful and funny yeah and he was like this is the one instance you need one of those weird little claw grabbers why <laughs> dad ha remember now dad has dad one. has one yeah when it's I called new. you after you got it from something when I called you after and I was I you were like we have that I was like oh no Oh, great story, honey. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, Chase. That's a horrible feeling if he's still listening. Horrible feeling. I hate that. I hate it when you throw it in your own trash at home. Mm hmm But that is, that's one of my worst fears. Like, I will, because, you know, I take my keys to go throughout the trash because you have to get back into the building. Right. Which he did because he probably just got home or whatever happened, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and uh, so I literally, I'll, like, even um, I will even if I have like two bags of trash, so like a bag, a handful of trash in one hand, a handful of trash in the other. I will set it all down. Like I will hold my keys in my other hand, super far away, and then I will throw each bag individually yeah. with the other, and I will like stare at my keys so I know that they're not going in. Yeah. So like that's I that is a big fear, but mm, I it was fun. I thought it was hilarious. Well, now I'm, you know what story I'm thinking of is when you were little and... Oh, yeah. Was it Mittens, the gray cat? It was Mittens. We have a back porch that is like... A foot? Oh, yeah, that's probably more than that because oh. we were... But it's like, yeah, we'll just say a foot off the ground and so we get critters under there. Well, Mittens got out and went in under there and then went towards the back. And the, thank goodness as you get towards the house, the dirt goes a little higher so she, she couldn't go all the way back. And we're bribing, what, do we bribe you with a toy? Oh. And we put an old coat on you? I, I, yes, so. <laughs> How old were you? Should we start there? Oh, I was a little, Mittens, kindergarten? She, she died when I was in like first grade. Yeah, so she, I had to be like kindergarten. Kindergarten, first grade. And oh. it's just a spider web ridden underneath oh. gross, like spooky bugs, everything underneath there. And I'm like, I'm not going under there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but you're our only hope. Yeah, I'm the smallest one. And. Um, this is back in the days of Blockbuster. Oh, yeah. And every time we would go to Blockbuster, there was like a Lizzie McGuire doll, which is like Hillary Duff's Disney TV show. And I wanted it so bad. And I would probably ask for it every time we went. And I didn't get it. And I remember you looking dead in the eyes. And I said, <laughs> I'll go under there if I get that Lizzie McGuire doll. Oh, talk about major bribery. <laughs> And then you're like done, and I we strapped on <laughs> done and done. Let's move. We strapped on my old Cheeto coat, is what I called it, because oh, it was yeah, like it was bright like orange. orange. Kind of an orangey pinky puff coat. Yeah, it was like a Lands End reversible, so it was like pinky on one side and then orange on the other. Yeah, kind of Back to the Future with sleeves. Yeah, <laughs> and then I like we put on the longest pants I had, like tucked my socks in. I think I wore gloves. Oh, you were so I, afraid, honey. I was, oh, yeah, I, it's like spider webs everywhere. <laughs> I felt, I mean, oh, it was so nice of you to do it for me. I put the, like, I had the hood up, you know, I had a hoodie on probably, like, and I just crawled, I remember crawling under there towards her with a can of tuna yeah. to try and get her out. It actually worked. Mm -hmm. And then I would, I slowly just dragged the tuna as I crawled out. As you backed up? Mm -hmm. And she came out. Well, and you being a little kindergartner or first grader could handle all that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you're scared to death. You can still coerce the cat. Mm hmm. <laughs> There's no way she was, I mean, Mintz was going to come out. Because it's kind of like we waited too. Like, well, maybe she'll come out. Well, and I think she had gotten it. She'd been out for probably a while. Yeah, right? she'd been missing for a while. Yeah, and then we, and then I don't know if you or dad happened to look under there. I don't remember. I want to say me, but I'm not sure. And it doesn't really matter. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, and then that cat liked Dad the best. Mm-hmm. So funny. 
Yeah, I remember she just looked so scared under there. She was petrified. Yeah. So are you. <laughs> yes. I was like, girl, I know why you're scared under here. My gosh. So gross. I, I, can, I can see myself brushing you off after we got out. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that you did that. That was some major negotiation tactics for I a little kid. I remember being like, no, thank you. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Did you suggest the negotiation? I mean, did you say, I want this toy because you know me pretty well? Or did I say, I'll get you the toy? I, I, the way I remember is I was like, no, uh no way. No, I don't want to do this. And I then all that. of a sudden I went, give me the Blockbuster toy. I think it and was I you. Went, yeah, give me the Blockbuster toy and I'll do it. Well, because you <laughs> always knew, even at a little age, like you said, I'm going to go get my allowance I'm gonna, the ice cream man's gonna come, we can hear it, he's coming down the street. I'm gonna pay with it for my allowance and I'll put it in the freezer to eat it after dinner. Okay, so you you already knew that negotiating was an option. <laughs> and, but I thought that was good because that's kind of how you negotiate a raise or something, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I bet, I bet you negotiate. I bet it popped into your head. <gasps> Negotiations. <laughs> yeah. But how else does a kid, you're not gonna learn to negotiate in school because... You know, I mean, you're there to behave and do your homework and mm -hmm. do what the teacher says. And yeah, I bet you that is how it went. Oh, good story, huh? Thank you. <laughs> the eye's looking better. It does look better already. Yeah, I don't know if it's got too much color. We'll know down the road. I put a little black out. I don't know when. Oh, because I need some gray to cover up. So I might darken that pupil with a little black. And it doesn't have a highlight. Um, I'm not sure I'm really liking it either. Did I hold that up too quick? Need to cover it right there a little bit. It might look too light. I might need to put a little. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard because it's he's. I think he pops more because he's surrounded by the blue. Instead, he'll be surrounded by the off white. You know. Yeah. I always go a little further than I should. Um, maybe if we darken that a little bit, and darken. It's one oh nine, one oh seven. Oh my gosh, I'm going so slow. Of course, this is the putzier part of the whole painting. Yeah, the first layer. I might. Thank you for telling me. Mm-hmm. Pick up the pace. Leave that eye alone. <laughs> <laughs> My long story didn't help, though. Oh, no, but that was funny. Totally funny. Well, we'll definitely make this a two-parter. Um, I don't think it will make it a complete video. I'm going to exaggerate this color a little bit. So this lamb could be kind of hard, or it could be kind of easy because you have a lot of similar values. That's always a tough call. I mean, just uh, sometimes it's not harder, it's just more work, more patience to mix, that kind of thing. Kind of like my traceables have a lot of detail. It doesn't actually make it harder. It can make it easier if you just follow all the details. You don't have to worry about drawing skills as much. But I know that it scares some people, and I get that because it does look harder. I've solved a lot of problems for you with the detailed traceable. And this one's not too terribly detailed, I don't think. I don't, don't, I don't remember. No, this one's much more simple than like the frog, I think is pretty detailed. Some of the cows are pretty detailed. Your buffalo is. Oh, the buffalo. Because you kind of put in the hair direction and stuff in that mm -hmm. one. I get it. And I get it's just not going to be for everybody. Okay, I need a little, like, gray because this is sort of in shadow, too. The soft lighting on this isn't normally what I pick with such a cute face. I tend to like a little more, like the buffalo had really dramatic lighting, and I, I over-exaggerated the blue on the nose. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of fun. So what I do is, like, my head... Well, like you see in the other videos, my head just swings back and forth and back and forth. As I look at the reference and then I look at... I'm so glad you told your story. <laughs> I think I need a smaller brush. 
course, once you get the eyes set, we can kind of cruise along the, the fur quicker. Um, the eyelash is actually darker than the... Nope. Just kind of get that in there and we can add eyelashes. A little bit later. That does not look that good. I think that sometimes is the hardest part about painting. Whereas if you're drawing, you could say, oh, I want to refine the shape. But a lot of times it just doesn't look that great. Just have to get some color down. Get some values down to see if it's working. Are you knitting or are you thinking? Emma, I can feel you. I'm crocheting. Or, oh! <laughs> oh! I'm making Chase's hat. I'm making the noises because I keep saying knitting. <laughs> We're going to need a emoji or something that says knitting. Knitting, <laughs> yeah. Someday when we have emojis, membership or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I finished Jack's hat so fast. I guess because I got that um, macrame yarn type dealio, whatever, string. I don't know what you call that. Macrame string yarn. Um, and I started working on like crocheting um, like a bag or mm -hmm. like a, um, a bucket or like Purse. storage something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm working on like crocheting it around or like an oval and then making it come up from there, I guess. Have you gotten very far? Yeah, I've gotten to like half or a third of the way. Like I have the bottom all done and then I start like going up and as I'm going up, I'm like, I don't like this shape. So then I take it all apart. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, you're learning how to do a new thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I've, I've not, I haven't mastered it, but I've Working in an oval, I've gotten good at. And I don't even need, like, a template. I really watched, because I was kind of trying to figure it out on my own. And then, because I do know you have to, like, add crochets, um, stitches and spots. But I didn't really know how many or where or whatever. Because oh, I so tried to read a diagram on it. You're macrameing a purse, not crochet. It's crochet. I'm doing crochet oh, okay. stitches. I mean, just using macrame yarn because it's thick. Ah, um, okay. And then... Uh, but I, um, what, oh yeah, so, uh, but once I, I watched a little, literally, like, one YouTube video on, like, how to crochet, like, a purse base, like, an oval or something like that, and, um, then I was like, ah, I can do this on my own, because, like, my yarn was different than hers, so I was adding fewer and whatever, but I've gotten it down. Well, cool, that's, I can't believe how fast you taught yourself to crochet. I know. I, I didn't think it was that fast until... I started trying to teach somebody else. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I, I learned this very fast. Yeah, you did. Well, the, the, I've said this before, but I don't know if I said it in the live, the two granny square... Um, a little coaster guys. Coasters, thank you. you mm -hmm. Are just, they're, I mean, they're, uh, there's a little maybe wonkiness in them? Do you think? There's any? I don't know. I'll look at They're it. so good. I think that's like one of the first things you crocheted. Nah, they're pretty even. Cool. But yeah. Well, I've abused them. They have stains. Yeah, they, they're on. very flat, I see. Yeah, I use them every day. And I used cotton yarn, so they... Uh... Oh, yeah. Well, that's nice and absorbent, but yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of gets a little... So I want to kind of hurry up and get this eye sort of done. Well, not done, but set, but I'm, it's just not working. i got to just paint. So I'll just kind of keep... I just go back and forth and I'm mixing values. Let's get this one in, that might help me. Because the fur kind of dents in. So what I'll do next is kind of paint fur dents. <laughs> and you can kind of do this for grass too. You paint the dark shapes. Kind of like I just did right there. But I've got way too little brush, which is part of the problem. I could probably switch back to the bigger brush again. 
And that might be a little dark, a little brown. Okay, and we've kind of got a... Do we still have anybody with us? Oh yeah, we have like 13, 12 people. Oh hey, watching. everybody. I'm oh, sorry, I always cut you off because I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here with us. It's fun for us. Okay, should we start making some bigger progress? What time is it? 1.15? 1.15, yeah. So just a flat brush, it's probably, well, if I push it down, it's a half inch, so it's probably three-eighths. I don't think it has. It's a craft brush. It doesn't have any. Let's kind of get some value down and stop putzing with the eye. Maybe a little. Oh, that was too much black. All right, let's do this then instead of mixing with my... Grab just a little bit of white, and I'm going to mix a little brownish, blackish. It's looking maybe blacker than I want, which I don't know if that's a problem. Yeah, Emily can hear me scratching on this mm -hmm. styrofoam plate. I think um, Tinker said that she could when we were talking about it. Yeah. Maybe it depends what you're watching us on or... Well, if we're being quiet. That too. Telling stories. Emily's a better storyteller than I am. But I feel like we both aren't that great. Oh, I thought you were good. Good. Because I feel like I add so much information that isn't... Um, I have had, um, like, yeah. I've had many people tell me that my stories go on for a century and a half. <laughs> And I add so much, like, background filler story that in my brain is very important and you need to know. Well, so pic this is the next picture in your head, so you add it. Uh-huh. And then, um, but it's, it's not necessary. Like, my story, like, I, um, there was, it was definitely one that I was like, oh, wow, that went on forever. And I think Chase was like, here's how, like, here's what we could have just told the story, how we could have told the story and it would have been done in, like, five minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I do. I to. tell, uh, my stories are usually so long, unless I try to shorten them. Somebody asked me an art question, I say way more than I need to. Yeah. yeah. Takes me a while to get to the point, or get, find the point. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is probably way too dark, but... So I don't know what this is. Anybody, um, someone was in the chat for a while that had sheep. I think that's like the shoulder. Oh, Tinker. Right here, yeah. I don't know. I don't know sheep anatomy. It's got to be. I mean, this would be the leg. And then, like, this is kind of just the neck fur, then this is the, another leg coming down there. It's got to be. But I also might just kind of make this corner darker. Kind of crowd myself here a little bit. Are we... I think we're pretty good. I like to paint the sides. Okay, let's just grab a some color. I might, I might need to mix more of my unbleached titanium. And that's okay if it's not, it ends up not being the same. Um, just whatever new color you mix, you can add it in the painting and add it in a couple of places to help unify it. So I don't know, like it's not very curly, so I'm just going to kind of do the brush strokes in the fur direction here. We're just going to, I'm mostly focusing on values. And like I painted out my dark there. But I also need to cover the blue. I added a little water there because it was drying out. Oh, that's a little wet. It's still a little wet. And that's an awfully hard edge there. I kind of want to 
Change that up a little bit. Get some paint on there. Yeah, this one feels like it went fast. I'm not nearly as far as I wanted to be. I know. It did go fast. If you want to go for a little bit, you can. It's totally fine. Well, I probably will just so we can make this a two-parter because otherwise it'll be kind of an awkward all-put-together video if we do a two-parter. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've, I've done it. We're, I, we're, I'm still learning. You know? Mm -hmm. I was just saying, I don't know why I said you know, but thank you for answering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to have you here. Yeah, I, I am the voice of... All the people in chat yeah. nodding their heads for Whether you. they like it or not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of choke there. Sometimes I'll just change up the color even though it doesn't end the reference photo. And I don't think I'm going to paint this pink. There's a little pink right up here. I don't know if it's the back of the sheep or, or what. I like that that ear's a little yellow there. I'm gonna put in a little darker. Whoa. <laughs> Just so it stands out. Hmm. And then maybe a little lighter. This gets a little tricky, a little lighter, because this is actually the side of the face. Like a little too high. So sometimes, as an artist, you defy uh, the natural world, the lighting, and exaggerate. Whoops. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm just laughing because I'm having a little trouble with painting. And then I'm gonna, I might soften that up, but it'll remind me. And it helps to find the ear, so it, it's gonna switch pretty quick there from light to dark. And I'm gonna pick it up anyway, which might help you see it. So it's not looking that pretty yet, but it's starting to come together a little bit. So we'll have to deal with, and it kind of blends in on the reference photo right here too. You can't really see what's going on. But I'm pretty sure that's this cheek hair hanging out. And then the eye would, is right in there. Cheek hair? Cheek hair. Did Freckles, oh yeah, she's sitting in she's my that old. good chair. I hadn't really heard her for quite a while. I just now thought of her. She left me alone finally. I bet. I bet if we play back, we'll hear her meow so much. <laughs> In the because she was even meowing like directly into my chest where the mic is. Well, just like those Zoom calls you see in commercials. Or mm -hmm. okay, I'm getting putsy again thinking about that space. All right, and then it lightens up. I'm gonna put some straight up white, even though it isn't quite white. And I might end up painting over some of this, but it'll remind me that there are some fun fur. Did you hear my stomach in? I heard something. I didn't it didn't sound very stomachy to me though. <laughs> no, maybe it was another I, for a little while ago I thought somebody came in the house. Did you hear that? No. Oh, good. I would have scared you. I would have gone running for the person. <laughs> Go looking? Yeah. Like you did the one time? Yeah. That was spooky. Did you hear downstairs? Or yeah, what? It sounded like someone was messing with the door. It could have been Freckles messing with the toy. Oh. It was quite a while ago. Oh. And I didn't even... <laughs> Tammy, Tammy says she wants in on the chat. Freckle. <laughs> yeah, Freckles needs to, you know... She has to have her time to talk. 
just to say her piece. <laughs> I sigh, but I, I mean, I love her to pieces. She's a really good cat. She just wants her way. Yes. Like day, I mean, day one, she wanted her way. Yeah, and then I think part of it's my fault because I, she's gotten old, so I'm giving her her way more and I'm spoiling her. You know, like she doesn't bother me at night. She doesn't wake me up. Mm-hmm. It's starting to look a little, whoop, I picked up some brown. It's starting to look a little more fun. See, I like, this part's fun where I kind of, it's getting sticky though. I might be pushing it. Where I can kind of throw out some curly hairs, some curly little brush strokes. I need to come back and put in well, I don't know if that mark makes sense. I guess I'll just put it in. Are we gonna go till normal time or go a little bit later, do you think? I think we should go later because I don't think okay. I can finish this in another hour and a half okay. next yep. time. Yeah. Is that work for you? Yes, it does. Okay. I was gonna say, because if, if you want to end at normal time, you have a four minute warning. <laughs> Thank you. That's why maybe my stom stomach isn't hungry. It's just getting nervous. So I'm going to mix a little more unbleached titanium while I have, I have plenty left, but I can mix right next to it. This might be a decent little art tip. Waited an hour and a half for a, an art tip. <laughs> and so I can see that it needs a little more yellow. It might be too yellow, but I'll just get it close. It'll work. doesn't have to be exact. It's kind of hard to tell because I've got kind of a messy unbleached titanium because I've poked into it. That's pretty close. And actually, I mixed a little darker than actual unbleached titanium out of the tube. Just because I knew I was going to need more values. I don't know. I just knew I was going to be mixing between the burnt umber and the white and the little yellow on occasion, the little gray on occasion. And that's close enough. If you like to get it close, if you run out or it dries or whatever, just mix them. It doesn't have to match. Then you just go and put it. So say if this was a new unbleached titanium, I would just go put it in places around my painting. And it'll look totally planned. Actually, we kind of get yellow, more yellow here and a little more brown. Ooh, I don't know if I like that, but I'm going to put it in. I think it's kind of the sun shining on this lamb. Sheep? Sheep? Lamb? Lamb? I think we called it lamb. I called it lamb in the thumbnail. Sure, Joy. Joy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, who, somebody asked in the very beginning what the lamb's name was. Let's see. Somebody called it Joy. I'm like, oh yeah, it oh, is. Oh, Tammy did. Tammy Sheer asked Joy. what the um, lamb's name was, and I was like, well, the painting is called Sheer Joy, so I'm gonna, let's go, it's Joy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of like the yellow now, so not so, not so bad. Helen D says that that blue is so pretty. I love the yellow blue green shade. And neutral gray five. That's basically the combo. <laughs> love, love, love. When I figured, when I just kind of stumbled on that, I was doing. It might be two years ago now. I was doing those. Well, the church painting we did shows the original or the inspiration church. What do I want to call that? The first church mm -hmm. that I did. Like, oh, I love that. So the chin actually gets darker under here. So I think I'll just use this color right up to the. And it almost gets lost too. I've been seeing more now that um, companies will, you know, when you do like an ad with an influencer or somebody like that, um, it'll be like, these are my choices, you know? So like you click their oh. URL and it, it takes you to a web page that isn't like technically like accessible from the website itself. It's not like it's a whole new area on the website or anything, but it's just like, 
um, a direct link to a page and then you can from that company buy all of this X person's favorites or something like that. So if, if that ever comes to a thing, we'll have to, it'll, all, all it'll be is neutral gray five and phthalo blue green shade and some white. Quinacridone's a good and, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Annie's but, favorites. If you can buy like, you know, if Michael's has a, an affiliate page where you can like shop Annie's store, all we will have in there is neutral gray five, phthalo blue green shade and white. I think they have affiliate link and I applied and I think they turned me down because we don't have any. We don't have, don't have enough. <laughs> we need bigger, way bigger yeah. numbers. I played a couple places. And... Yeah, but like I think somebody I watched did one with like a tea company or something and it was like all her favorites. Like you would go to that tea company and like it was a direct link to a page and it was like all of her favorite flavors that you could buy. It's not like a special rebranding or anything. Mm -hmm. But um, I've seen like Chipotle does like people's burritos. Like you can buy, or like you can buy X person, famous person's meal. That's smart of them. Um, it Don't is. you think that's smart of them? It's, yeah, it's so smart. And then, you know, so it's a burrito made their way or, you know, whatever they get there made their way. And then um, I think that's what yours will be. Just those three items. Goals. <laughs> goals. Old people goals. That's funny. That's def that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> be so funny actually be really weird <laughs> yeah really weird I don't really want I'm not I okay this makes me think of like I do not want to be like famous and recognized I mean I don't know that that's so smart to be on YouTube but I don't want that I just want to reach people it's so fun to share my art with you guys you I have I had no idea how fun that was going to be for me. <laughs> and I'm getting better. You go back and look at my videos, you can see my progress. Yeah, I like that. I like going and looking at, like, your old videos yeah. and then your newer videos. And it's like, wow, how the much you've grown. Yeah, the pandemic was a super – I mean, I didn't feel comfortable. Go in the beginning, I was scared, so I didn't go places. And, I mean, excellent for having time to paint <laughs> and get better. Mm -hmm. You know, practice makes perfect. Um, oh, sorry about my table. Um, but I think that's good. You know, I mean, you just keep getting better. Mm -hmm. You never get there. You just try things, like things, put them in your tool belt, belt, belt kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I can't talk. Uh, but I really like it. I like the, the chats. I like getting to know you guys. I love the comments. That's just been so fun for me and good for my mental health. Sound like I never go out. <laughs> I mean, you know, during the pandemic, I did. Yeah. You and I used to go shopping a lot. Yeah. Probably more than we should. Yeah. You know? But, you know, that's getting out of the house. That's, mm -hmm. you know. Anyway, I think I made my point I'm going on. I'm kind of just painting the shapes of the dark areas. Well, I think in the same way that, um, you know, it's, um, I assume, like, you know, people do lives to connect with people more or whatever and yeah. and it makes you feel more real it's kind of like you know it's it makes your comments feel more real too though when those when people that comment all the time show up <laughs> and then it's like they sent that right now instead of you just happening to catch the comment like four yeah. minutes later and they're probably still not you know there yeah. I really do wave that way I really do <laughs> I really do smile like you can't yeah. if I do it this way you can't you can maybe hear the smile but I like I really do like saying great big happy art hugs mm-hmm just makes me, it's kind of grown. It changed a little bit over time. Mm -hmm. I think it was just art hugs or something. I can't remember. Yeah, it, I don't remember. I'll have to go back, like, whenever the, the probably the first time you did that. It has changed. Um, this part's actually more fun for me and relaxing than the eye. I mean, the, I like it, the eyes to work. They're important for me, but this is, with a flat brush, is kind of fun. I'm getting some fun brush strokes in there. Yeah, it has morphed, and I don't remember exactly. Well, and it started out as virtual hugs on Zoom meetings um, with, like, people that I know that license their art and stuff. And I do virtual hugs, and they'd all just grin and, you know, because it's dorky. And, but still, mm -hmm. you know, they all, we all felt a little better. So that's how it started. It was virtual hugs. Well, and there's, like, a – I used to use it more. There's a GIF or something I'd put in comments that's a virtual hug. It's like a ghost. Oh, ghost hug. There's a couple of them. Oh, 
the GIF on like Facebook like or something. Like on Facebook. Okay, or... I know exactly which one you're talking about because you kind of post that one a lot. Sorry, you couldn't picture <laughs> that I was on Facebook. Yeah, I in couldn't. My mind. I didn't. I didn't know where you went. So then I was like, okay. <laughs> I haven't used it in quite a while, but there's. I mean, it's not like it's a totally original thought. But yeah, I... I used to see you post that one a lot. I like the, the virtual. The ghost hug. I like virtual hugs. You can't feel it, but I'm hugging you. I think is what he says in one of them or something. Oh yeah, maybe. I don't know if I've used that one lately. I can't picture it. I think I might just pull them where I can always paint it out. Mm, I was, I got sidetracked, but I was looking through your um, old video, or like just videos in the past, not oh, like old, yeah. old, but I was looking for, um, because I heard that YouTube changed its dislike button. Oh, Did I you hear too. that? But I, we still have one. I like know. they got rid of it or something. Um, they still have it for like public use. You know, like like I could dislike this video right now, you know, if I wanted. There we go. I'm trying to find one that has like a dislike on it or something because um, what the dislike button does now, it's like, because some people, you know, it'll be, um, I don't know, a video about something, like a newsy video about something awful and horrible so they hit a dislike, you know? Oh, gosh. Gotcha. But now the dislike button is used to like... Um, for your algorithm. So like if you dislike a video, you may see that person less frequently kind Aww. of thing. So I was, gonna, I was trying to find a video of yours. Because I get where... some comments that seem kind of kind of brusque. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I would, I want the comments and well, the dislikes. It, it, won't do the, it won't do the comments, but the, it'll... And well, it... I know, but I want the feedback. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Like, so I, I wonder if it'll eventually go back because I've heard a lot of complaints about it. But... I, well, what I was trying to find is a video. I could of yours. see where you get a bunch of trolls attacking you. You know, you're like a public figure, and it's not accurate because mm -hmm. they're just being, you know, trolls, teenagers. Like teenagers used to be when they used to take a baseball bat to mailboxes. You know, <laughs> now it's when they harass you online. And is now that what they you're harass saying? you online. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's an old person comment, but you know, or you know, yeah, doorbell ditch, ring yeah. or call your refrigerator is running. <gasps> Okay, have you thought that Ding Dong Ditch can't really happen like it used to anymore? Because of the ring Because rings. Yeah. Um, yeah. Libby said that, um, that she got a Ding Dong Ditch and oh. he literally flipped his shirt up over his head, this little kid. He <laughs> flipped the shirt up over his head and ran to the ding, the ring doorbell that they have and <laughs> rang it and run away. I mean, that's annoying, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know... Oh yeah, you yours is it's an, it's happened for you. Oh, has it? Mm-hmm. Because it. Um, so what has happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> it shows the like, like it shows the like and the amount of people that have liked it. So like this video that I looked through or whatever, and I no, I found that it had at least one dislike or whatever. Um, it has like twenty six likes, and then I don't know how many dislikes it has. Maybe I have to look on the back end, but it doesn't say that anymore. It doesn't show the amount of people that have disliked it. And that dislike button now just acts as like a, um, it'll tell you behind the scenes if they, how many likes and dislikes it has. Oh, well, at least I still get the info. Yeah, but it's not public. And, but then it also can affect, um, your algorithm too. So like well, you won't see things like that anymore. I think that's stinky. It's kind of like I will go and like people's Facebook pages and like a bunch of stuff and comment on their posts and Facebook still won't show them to me. Yeah. I'm like, I don't like that about social media, yeah, computers. Or like if, you know, if Joy, the sheep, if she's posting on Facebook and then all of a sudden she stops posting on Facebook, like she'll fall off your feed anyway because you've been interacting with other things, which kind of stinks. It's a stink. Yeah. But like I don't see any political things. I never like political things. I just like art things. And I, and I you know, maybe I just don't notice them, but I don't get any weird, mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. Posts that you might not like. You might want political posts that could be something you're interested in. Um, I'm only interested when there's big voting and then I have to take a break from it. But anyway, I'm like, ah. I mean, computers are great because I can be with you right now because <laughs> <laughs> of all that stuff. But it's also annoying. Uh, Helen Helen says, I think it's so rude to hit dislike. Just don't say anything if you have nothing nice to say. Oh, yeah. I Yeah, I don't think I've ever 
disliked a video. Yeah, I just leave it if I don't like it. <laughs> no, I never have disliked a video, but I do, you know, even if a comment seems, I could just be reading it wrong, they don't mean yeah, that's, it that that's way. That's hard. They should do like, you know how you can um, send a voice memo over, <laughs> like, you, oh, could, yeah, you, you can, can just record and send a voice memo. It'd be so nice if you could literally hear the person say it and how they say something. Yeah, but at the same time, I'll think about it. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe we can do, like, you know, I was getting comments, I want to see every step, and I want, you know, and then I mm -hmm. noticed that people only watch six minutes, I, is what we kind of average, I haven't checked mm -hmm. lately. You know, so clearly people aren't watching every step. Yeah. You know, and, but, you know, kind of do, so the lives help solve some of that problem, because I don't, I can't please everybody, but maybe we can grow, and as we grow, we can, you know, adjust and do mm -hmm. things to, I don't know if I like what I'm doing, I think I need to stop talking. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. It's all right. It's just first layer stuff, too. I never like it. I need to start thinking shapes less, and I'm looking at each hair. It's not hair time. It's, it's not layer really one. hair time. It's more shape time. Mm -hmm. See, you need to think shapes, whether you're drawing or painting. Like, there's kind of a... I'm going to grab a little white so it'll stand out a little bit more. There's kind of a... There we go. That shape there. No, it kind of does other things. Oh, I can tell I've been painting too long at the art table. Oop. That's interesting. So it it will it will hurt us if people hit the dislike now. Um. Well, just like their probability of seeing us again. Oh, seeing us again. Well, I guess they probably don't want to. But... Yeah, I think so it's that's kind okay. of like a. It, it's probably not a. What's nice is um, at least me observing the art community <laughs> through what you, what you, what you, you being in it. The older art community. Well, I don't know if there's there's probably a younger one, but maybe I just don't see them as much. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I, I just see teasing. whatever you see. <laughs> yeah. And we have some young followers too, which is nice. Yeah, but um, the you know people. Like, people will just di hit a dislike button to hit a dislike button. Sometimes, Like, we're at the right. YouTube side of YouTube I live on, you know? People just hit a dislike button to do it. And, right. Um, whereas, I, you have very few videos that have a dislike at all. Like, I had to scroll for quite a while to find the first one with a dislike, oh, which yeah. is nice. I never even looked. I think... <laughs> I think... Um, it wasn't... I mean, you know. Yeah. I think it doesn't tell me much, actually. Sorry, go oh. ahead. Oh, the dis it doesn't the tell you much. button, yeah. Yeah, the, the comment, comment have tells a you more. comment because then it tells me more. Yeah. Or, you know, like, I like the time lapse better than, you right. know. Right. I like speed painting better than the chatty painting. Like, that tells you more than yeah. the dislike. Yes. I like that. I agree. Um, yeah, because the dislike is very, especially this, like, hour and a half long situation. It's like, what part didn't you like? I know. <laughs> but. I know. The whole thing. The whole, just all, as a whole. <laughs> Um, well, that's that's okay. I, yeah. I know if when we start getting more complaints, we're actually a bigger growing channel, you know? That's a good thing. Helen has a good point. I respect all artists that teach us. It costs them money for materials. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, money, time. Yeah. I think, yeah, and maybe it's because it is more of like a teachy community kind of thing. Maybe. Instead of pure, it is entertaining, but straight up like entertainment. Like, I make this video to only entertain you and not teach you. I was going to say not learn you something. <laughs> I like <laughs> learn you. Not teach you something. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I think there's a lot of aspects. It's just generally like a nicer community and a, they understand that it's like, oh, yeah, I'm learning something. Like, thank you. Appreciative. Or, or I don't know. watching. I mean, I think sometimes watching is the best way to, mm -hmm. watching and doing more than I know people want to see step by step in every brush stroke, but really, I I don't think that's going to help you. That, I mean, get a paint by number and start there. They're mm -hmm. not bad. You know, that'll help you. Maybe actually, that's not a bad idea. When I said that, I don't mean it mean at all. Mm -hmm. You get a paint by number and see how they pull you through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Well, because you know when you start noticing like, oh, like number four, which is a super dark brown, is in all these like spots that are kind of like like if it's a face if it's like under the neck and like it does teach you kind of like where shadow placement would be and yeah. stuff like that if it is like a face or something with totally. a lot of detail i've never done one we should get one and do one 
Yeah, you can actually, I keep getting ads um, where like you can get, I don't know, like a photograph of you and a significant other as, oh. as a paint by number and Ooh. then you paint it, you know? That would teach you, that might teach you skin tones. I really don't, mm -hmm. I don't do portraits because I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. Um, I know I could, but I would need some practice. Um, but, oh, I don't want to, you know, can you change my, I don't like my eye color, I don't like my whatever. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not doing that. Yeah, I think I think animals are easier they to don't complain. do than people. Well, I mean, if you're doing a pet portrait for its owner, oh. it'll know what pet looks like. But I think I still think there's something different about. I don't know if it's because, you know, while a dog looks different from another dog, like a yellow lab is kind of a yellow lab. You know, mm -hmm. it's pretty much relatively got a similar snout, a similar whatever, whereas there's like a million different noses, a million different eye shapes, like... Oh, skin. You know, skin tones, a thousand. I don't know if that's what makes people harder. Oh, gosh. I mean, my red hands with my blue veins. <laughs> and then if you painted all the wrinkles, I'm not like putting down my hands. I just, my dad and I have tons of wrinkles on our hands. So do you, Emily? Uh, or is that Jack? I think that's Jack. I have like the vertical lines or whatever that you all have, but my, I still have like the, the, um... Little kid chub dimples. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I still have the youth in my hands. Well, and people are okay. I've got a pet portrait sitting right here, but I can't show you because it's a Christmas present. Um, you know, they're okay with the weird stray white hair. They love it. Mm -hmm. We're not in a human. They don't want that weird stray white mm -hmm. hair. Not always. Not everybody, but just in general. I just not, you know, I'm not going there. Maybe someday, because it'll be a challenge. It would be a good challenge to really learn skin tones. And I'm trying to get just get the shape and the value, sort of. I think it's too dark, but I think I'm going to leave it. Excuse me. Well, I think we just have to let go with whatever YouTube is doing. We just, I mean, that's mm -hmm. easier said than done to let go. It's kind of like a painting. Sometimes you have to just let go. And yep. I thought it was... Um, That's interesting. Yeah. I, I, I get why they, you know, you don't, you disliked it, so that means you probably don't like it, so we're going to help curate your... Yeah. What you, you're recommended or what you want to see. Just like everybody else. But I do know that there's plenty of, like, situations out there where, like, people do dislike the video, and maybe they don't necessarily want to stop seeing that thing. Right. So it's kind of weird now. But maybe, you gotta, maybe you have to dislike... I don't know how many times you got yeah, to dislike. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I just heard. I just. Um. I was watching. A, I saw some. Yeah, I was watching a YouTube podcast and they were talking about it, and I was like, oh. I know. I've been watching more painters, to see what they do. Mhm. Mm like setup and everything, and. Mm -hmm. I I watched more acrylic painters in the beginning to see if there was little tips I needed to know about acrylic painting. Versus you know watercolor versus color pencil. So you don't have to get, I'm going to, this isn't a pet portrait, which I just reminded myself in my head quietly. And I thought, oh, <laughs> say that out loud because I'm kind of in pet portrait mode this time of year anyway. I can like put in some of my own. I'm getting a little too fussy. We oh, don't are you need... doing the picture? Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is, you know, this is Joy and her person commissioned the pet portrait. I'm like, no, I can, I can leave out some of these things. I don't have to get them all. Actually, there's a dark... Right underneath the chin, right here that I want to grab so I don't lose it because I kind of lost it already. And I'm just going to make it darker than it is and kind of curve it up. So do we have enough shapies? For that like dark under fur yeah. bits? Because I see here I was getting a little fussy with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. We just need to get some paint down. We need some paint down, people. And it's still kind of warmer. Actually, it almost gets a little orangey. Do we dare? <laughs> mm. What? Bonita has a good point. Um, I love to do wildlife photography versus people's people photographs. Um, people want you to make something they are not, and wildlife yes. doesn't care. Wow. That takes me back to, like, how um, in art history classes they would talk about how, like, 
this is a portrait of this person, but odds are they really don't quite look like that because they would ask for, you know, different things. They want to be shown as like, you know, more, if it's, you know, one of the presidents or something, more buff than they are, you know? Oh, let me tell you, when I first started seeing myself on YouTube, it was a wake up call. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like it, you know, it's just like, oh, that's not what I have in my head. Well, I don't know how many times you've told me you're like, I'm 30 and then I look in the mirror. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. 30 and then I look in the mirror and I don't see 30. Oh, look at look at that. That's not what's in my head. I like my version in the head, in my head. Yeah, oh my gosh. That was a huge step for me. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to videoing myself. You know, one take. I'm not going to do it a bunch of times. <laughs> You are the queen of one take. Well, I the very first video I did was a chalk video. Well, not the very first, but the very first one where I was on it. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was a chalk video. And I retook that intro like five times. I'm like, okay, that's ridiculous. It's not getting any better. It is not getting any better. <laughs> so I that's when that stopped. I mean, every once in a while I'll retake. I can't think when I've done it lately. but So we could almost say that your videos that we put up are pretty much next to live because it's just one take no and then i was so afraid to do the lies but i think that was more like what if i say something really dumb and it's it turns out to be offensive and i really don't want to offend anybody i really don't yeah i don't I really want to include everybody yeah this is youtube you know you know if we talk about christmas shopping so i said holiday shopping and i'm still worried that's what worries me Oh, yeah. But I, I mean... I don't want to... Go ahead, I'm sorry. I, I think what you're worried about offending people with and what is potentially truly offensive isn't... I think you are very, very okay. Well, I know you laugh because you watch things I don't want. Yeah, yeah. So, I appreciate that. That's a big help. You know? That's a, it's a huge help to have another generation watching, helping... I've said that before. I think everybody should work with more than one generation. Actually, I think that's a pretty good value. I'm going to keep... I notice my art table wiggles just even when I paint. I like this art table. I got it at Target like a bazillion years ago. Yeah, this that, that art table has been around forever. Yeah, it really is good, other than when I'm hunching too much. We need a next... Upgrade is one of those lifty desks. Oh, and we can just have them behind me. Yeah. Well, but then actually, also... this is a lifty desk, but I don't want to lift it. Cause well, I yeah, can't... but the lifty ones are like automatic. You just um, oh. push a button and it goes down or up. Of course it is. Um, and then um... and of course I wouldn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of yours, that's literally like you have to go down on one side and then you could like leave everything on your top as is and with the new one, just lift it up and down. Well, but everything would fall off. It, it just goes all oh, one piece. Oh, it goes straight up. I'm picturing angling up. Oh, no. You're talking lifting up, which yeah. is what you're saying, but I'm picturing. Mm -hmm. No, I want one that angles up, maybe. Oh. But then everything you think falls you have, off. Yeah, you have way too much stuff on top to do that. <laughs> do, well, see, we have this huge studio and a couple desks. And... Yeah. And every time you want a new brush, you run to the other side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a problem. I already have almost two sets going. Yeah. And then I have my unused new set. Mm hmm You know, save for when I finally give up a, a liner brush or something. Yeah, you have the well-loved set. You got the mm -hmm. middle-of-the-road set. Oh, goodness. So I'm, I keep looking at how it looks. Here, let me show you. It's got, like, lots of little detail, and I keep wanting to do it. And I'm, like, just paint in the color. We can make this one loose. Bonita says... Wait until you, um, y'all, wait until you get much older and begin to have less of a filter with the, <gasps> like, the little shocked emoji. <laughs> uh, yeah, my filter is fading. <laughs> my filter is fading. That's funny, because little kids don't have filters. I wonder if it's sort of like a little reversal <laughs> yeah. that life does to you, you know? Yeah, I guess at some point the world teaches you that you need a filter, and then <laughs> it just slowly reverts back. I was not the best filtered person anyway. But I'm stressing with this little spot right here. Okay, let's, let's, because I can, this will be so much better. I think what I don't like is my shape is too, 
let's just fix my shape a little bit. My under shape. It's kind of like underwear. <laughs> oh, I didn't think you'd laugh. That was so bad. I laughed because it was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> so made it funny. It was so bad. It really is kind of like underwear. It is. It gives, you know, it's <laughs> yes. It's it's a it's a bra basically. <laughs> Oh, it's you a, went to bra. Emily. Well, that's what's supportive. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> um, it's you know, it's the under layer that supports the mm. layer above it. It so, is totally does. It totally is underwear. Very supportive. Now we're gonna be thinking underwear all day today, mm -hmm. or forever now. When you do an under layer of painting, painting, it's gonna be. The, let's get the underwear on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm picturing girdles. Girdles. <laughs> I have never worn one. I don't know when they went out of, I don't know. I can picture Graham having some. Your grandmother, my mm -hmm. mom. I don't even know if I know what a girdle looks like. Oh, I picture white and very difficult to get on and no, big and. A girdle. Are you gonna Google? Yeah. It's too bad you can't put a photo in the. Oh, it's like shapewear. It is shapewear, oh, but it's not nearly. Shapewear as... is not out of style. No, but that, but girdles were like, whew. It was the thing. It wasn't like a corset, which is a fortress, but I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> it's tough, mm -hmm. uncomfortable. Men have shapewear. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Oh, yeah. Here's a muscly dude in shapewear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I suppose that's what a vest used to be. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay, I need to get back from this because this is really, oh, it's actually not quite so bad. I mean, we're definitely rough, but when I lean back, I'm a little happier. So they just rebranded girdle because girdle's really not an attractive word. No. Now it's just shapewear. I could or use Spanx. Little, Spanx. I could use a little shapewear. But I think a girdle is... When I Googled it, it's more the thing with like the hooks and. Oh, and it just, so that's probably more like the shapewear stuff. Oh, yeah. Which is, I guess, Spanx is that. But anyway. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. I was blessed. I, you know, I wore dresses to church, church, because mom, when I was little, Graham, you, you just did. Mm -hmm. You dressed up, and I was so wanted to wear my blue jeans and my tennis shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but as I got older, even as I got older, you didn't have to do it so much. Thank goodness. Well, you notice my hoodies. I'm sure people have noticed my hoodie look. <laughs> well, but also, lives. you're not going to wear an evening gown to paint, you know? Well, I don't have one, but yeah. <laughs> but still, like, I... Even, no, I wear t-shirts quite a Yeah, long. even if, like, I don't know. If you, like, if you wore what uh, sometimes I show up here in, I you, wouldn't... You look nice today. You have a sweater on. And... I do. Yeah, it was chilly, so I put a turtleneck... Well, I'm sorry, you're trying on. to say how bad you look. Well, no, just that. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't want, why would you want to paint in, like, your nicer clothes, you no, know? What if you no. get paint on them? No. Of course, and now, I really like the. I was late to the to the show knowing how to use uh, hand sanitizer or rubbing alcohol to get it out. It's still hard oh, yeah. on your clothes if you're Yeah, I it. wouldn't. I still wouldn't. We have got, I, I set my watch for another 30 minutes. It's got to be getting pretty close. Um, yeah, it's 1.58. Oh, gosh, my spidey senses. <laughs> um, Helen says, I cannot wear those Spanx. Oh, I haven't tried them. I wore a pair because um, I had a wrong, or I bought a pair because I had a, romper and then I um oh yeah that's a good idea I was it was like a bachelorette party and I and I was wearing a romper so then I went out where I have to worry about wearing a dress but like the romper was really flowy and so I was still scared of like bending over so I bought a pair of like well and Marilyn Monroe do you yeah know? yeah I don't know. like short yeah. style Spanx and I wore those underneath so at least like all you saw were shorts but um that's smart let's see and then but Tammy, they were pretty comfortable weren't they it, yeah it was a little like you know I had to hike into them because they're that's what they are, you know. Oh, yeah. But 
it wasn't like horrible you know it was just like if i wore a pair of like leggings that were really tight a, a little little small yeah really tight tights um, and Tammy says, girdles, girdles are heavier duty than Spanx. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. So I was thinking, because the pictures, they look heavier dutier. Heavier dutier. <laughs> um, I remember my mom torturing herself with one, and Helen's like, it's, Helen says, I am showing my age a little. My granny wore a girdle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, there was, I mean, they were around when I was a kid. And I don't know for how long, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And everybody would have given them up at different stages, you know, depending on yeah how how I don't know. Seems funny to say how much you like them, but however. So I'm just gonna put that little thing back in there because I like it and I don't want to forget it. Oh, Annie E is in the chat. Um, I uh, I believe she, did she buy the? Is that who bought the um other the ballerinas? Oh, ballerinas, yeah. You'll have to, Annie, so you'll have to rewind to, yes, it does. Um, you'll have to rewind to the very beginning because there's the. There's another one. Yeah, the. the <laughs> that sounds like we're pressuring her to buy, though. <laughs> no, just the, <laughs> she'll have to see the second, like the 2.0 or whatever. The sister painting of her painting. Yeah. It's called Pure Wedding. It'll post. Um, and hers was Ballerinas? Yep. I wanted to call this one Ballerinas, too. I really like that title. Um, it'll post Sunday, December 26th. So my watch just went off, so we hit an hour and a half. No, we're, it's 2 p.m., so we're at two hours. <gasps> I should probably stop. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I did the math wrong again. That's fine. We probably should stop soon. I don't know how my phone battery is doing. All right, hopefully I can get, I might, oh gosh, I might paint a little before next week, you guys. And I'm worried that's going to upset people. But I just kind of, just to get some color in and then get some details in. Like, that eye looks really funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't, don't think it looks kind of funny right now. Yeah. If you're just laying down, like, more layers, you're you are going to defend me. Of my, course. My daughter. Of yeah. course. <laughs> if you just lay down more of, like, the base layers, then that's done, and then we can move on to the second one. Totally. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think we need to stop. I'm worried about my phone now. And he says, the ballerinas are... It, the ballerinas is a beautiful painting. I'm very proud to have it. Oh, thank you. It's a fun one. I love all the. There's a lot of grasses in that and a lot of colors. Mm, yeah. It's it's kind of more along the bent of the party poppies, which is down at the mm -hmm. the gallery. Mm, Helen says I really enjoyed the gallery tour. Oh, good. I like those. Those are they take me a while because like I always I always muck with them or whatever, but I like editing those a lot. Good. Um. I was thinking, I don't know, we weren't sure, I wasn't sure about those, but um, I think it's kind of nice to see the other things I do for my art business, or at least some of them. Yeah. I have not gotten samples from anybody. I think they're stuck on a container ship. Probably. In some point, or they didn't even do them. Yeah, everything is just probably all still I don't know. backed up. Tammy says, do what you need to do, Annie. We will watch either way. I think we have... I, I swear either Tammy or somebody else has said that, that exact comment before. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to stop being worried. Well, see, I'm nervous about those things still. You yeah. can tell I comment on them. Okay. We're going to stop here. I am going to probably fill in the body a little bit so we can move along because it's, it's in that ugly, hot mess stage. Yeah, but I think it's nice to see yeah. it in this stage because it's obviously you're painting even when you watch the time lapse it looks like it comes together so fast but. oh i know i know and this is actually kind of fast for me i liked i prefer to just really chill out and paint slow mm -hmm. um relax i think if we ever if if ever there was like a paint-a-thon it would still just be one painting <laughs> <laughs> yeah. five hours of one painting <laughs> well and i like that i like the minutia not everybody does yeah you know i like the little details mm -hmm. all righty i'm gonna stand up here so if you hear any rustling noises <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for hanging out with us it's so fun for us it's fun to chat with you in the actual chat i love it i appreciate everyone's support showing up and helping us with this youtube adventure adventure it means so much to us great big happy art hugs and i hope to chat with you soon bye guys <laughs>